UK Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Now we are uh, uh, adding Selenium uh, ID comments. Okay. Uh, before that, I will open the, uh, the scripts that we have. So if you want to open the existing test cases, go to file menu, okay, open uh, test case, open, and this is where we have saved our test cases. So this is the test case here, okay. Now say here I want to include uh, one comment. Comment means it is a line which will not be which will not be executed, which uh, are the other words, it is a line which is going to be ignored by the tool, okay. So here, for example, here, uh, here in between, I want to include a comment here. So just right click over here, say insert new comment. So now here in this line, you can insert a comment. Here you just say, this is the comment. You just, you can mention this is a comment, okay. The other way, so click on the uh, click on daily deals you know below line we are clicking on daily deals so just to uh, uh, give that information we are saying this is a comment click on daily deals okay I, I could directly say uh, click on daily deals like this okay I will just when I, I want to mention it as a comment Okay, like this. Now this line is going to be ignored by this Selenium IDE while executing. Okay, this line will be ignored while executing this particular script by the Selenium IDE. This is just a comment. Okay. Now here uh, we'll also try to understand other features. Okay, like here we were trying to understand. Uh, we'll try to understand these menus. Okay. Probably may not be all the menus, but we'll try to understand the main things. So here, if you want to create a new test case, you can say new test case. So here, uh, you will get a new test case here. Okay, you can open, you can save a test case, you can save test case as, okay, you can export the test case. Okay, here, here is the place where you can export the uh, scripts, okay, uh, this particular test cases into different flavors, okay, a Ruby format, Python format, Java format, C sharp format. Okay, and recent test cases, it is going to show what are the recent test cases that we have all done. And add test case, add test case means, say here we already have a test case one, untitled. So I want to add a test case which is, which is already saved or which is a part of other, uh, other script. I can add for this over here. Fine, it's a add test case. So I can say this TC3. So this TC3 is added over here. Together we can save this uh, this three as a um, test suite. Okay. Properties which talks about the particular test case. Look, like what is the file name? Okay. Title and new test suite. You can create a new test suite as we discussed. Test suite is the combination of test cases. Open test, save test suite, tape test, test suite as. Actually, save test case as our test suite is. Say, for example, here we have TC3 here. Otherwise, say here we have TC1. So, I want to save it as, say, some TC4. So, save test case as. Here you can mention TC4 like this. Now, this particular test case has been saved as TC4. Okay. In a similar way, save test suite. 
if you open any test suite, you can save this particular test suite as another name. If you want, basically, if you want to rename a particular uh, existing test case, you have to follow this. Export test suite as recent test, test suites. Okay, close. If you say close, it is going to close the Selenium IDE. And you have to have basic features like edit, uh, undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, delete, select all. These are like uh, very, very common uh, things. Okay. Uh, and here we have an insert new command. It means, say here in between, I want to, uh, say I want to insert one line here. So here, you can say insert new command. It is going to insert one line here. Okay, insert new common, just now we have discussed. This is the name which will be ignored by the Selenium IDE while executing the script. Insert new command, which here uh, we can include one more line and uh, say, can I, I forget something? So you can include that line over here. And as if I am saying delete, I delete that particular line. Now there is actions, say so record, play entire uh, test issue, play entire test case. This basically talks about this particular bar. Play enter test suite, this one. Play enter, play test case. Play current test case. Okay. And record. These options have been uh, mentioned over here. Okay. Pause the regime. And if you remember, we already discussed this. While executing, we, if we click on pause the regime, it is going to pause. Okay. Step. Step means uh, we can execute the script step by step. Fastest, fastest means this extreme end, extreme left end, uh, faster, it's, uh, it's actually it is uh, currently extreme end, that is the reason these two have been uh, disabled, say if I say slower, okay, now if I go action, if I, if I say slowest, so it, it comes to the extreme end here, okay. Basically, this fast, fastest, faster, slowest, slowest, these four are the options for this, basically this for this bar, this particular bar. Now, uh, I think we have to discuss these three points, toggle breakpoint, toggle breakpoint means, say for example, here I have selected this particular line, and say here I am going to action, I am saying toggle breakpoint. It means, it is going to execute this particular line, it is going to execute this particular line, and it is going to wait at, at this particular line. It is going to be paused, as we have mentioned, a breakpoint. A breakpoint means uh, the line where we mention uh, this breakpoint. It is going to be paused over there. Okay. Now in this line, I have kept, kept a breakpoint. Okay. Now observe here. Let us try to uh, play this particular test case. So I am saying play current test case. Now observe in the background. It is going to open the ev.com. It is going to type LED TV. See here, it has uh, entered the LED TV. Now it is waiting at this particular line. It is being passed. Okay. In the in the previous class, we understood like if you click on this particular button while executing the script, if you click on this, it was it was used to pause. But if we it's, a, it's a, like a pre-planned. Okay. I want to stop. I want to pause the pause for a while. Okay. If you know before executing, say I want to pause the so and so line. You can use this breakpoint. Okay, now here you can resume the execution or you can execute the step by step. See, I am executing step level. Now in the background it has clicked on a button, search button. This search button was clicked. That is the reason we got this results. Okay, now here uh, you can resume back again. You can say step execution. Now I am saying resume. So it has been executed this clicking on daily deals. Now see, that is the reason we have daily deals page here. Okay, as the script being executed does successfully without an issue, there is a reason it is showing a green color bar. And here, if you observe all the lines here, it has been showing in a uh, the background has been showing in a light green color. Okay, it means all the lines has been successfully executed. Okay, so this is about toggle breakpoint. Set clear start point. Uh, start point. It means let me go to the home page here. Say for example, I want to start executing from this second line here. I don't want to execute this first line. So what we can do here, you can uh, select this line and go to actions. Say set our clear start point. Okay. So now it is going to start the execution from this particular line. Okay. 
it will start executing this particular, uh, this particular line. Now let me remove the breakpoint over here. Again, if you want to remove the breakpoint, select that line and go to so, go to actions. Say toggle breakpoint. Okay. Now let me say play current test case. If I say play current test case, it is not going to execute this first line. It is going to start execution from the second line. See that. Observe in the background. Observe over here. It has typed LED TV and it clicked on search and it is uh, clicked on daily deals. That is the reason we are in this daily deal page. And here, if you observe here, this first line is not highlighted with the light green color. If you observe this first line here, it, it did not highlight it with the light green color. Because the script execution started from here. Okay. It means we can uh, stop, we can start the execution from the middle of the script also by mentioning this. Okay. Now here, um, observe here, I am double clicking on this line. Everyone observe here. Now currently if you see this particular text box, it is an empty text box, right? Uh, let us go to the home page. Now if you closely observe here, this particular text box is the empty text box, right? Now I am double clicking on this line. Can you observe here? It has been entered LED TV and observe here. Here, currently we are still in the home page only. Okay, we just entered LED TV. Now I want to click on the search button. Now I can observe here, I am double clicking on this line. Just observe in the background. It is opening this page. It means I am executing each and every line here. I am executing each and every line here by double clicking on it. Okay, the other way, if you see her actions, there is something called execute this command. Okay, when you say this, execute this command, it is going to execute a particular line. Okay, execute a particular line. Say here, if I select this, and if I go here, uh, action, execute this command, or if I double click on that line, both are same. Okay, it is going to execute this particular line. Okay. Now here, I uh, will discuss about these options. Okay, here in Selenium ID, we have some set of options. Like this is a general uh, uh, format here, okay. Uh, actually, here I missed a topic. Let me say after adding in the comments, ID comments. Let me mention it as like Selenium ID menus. We have been trying to understand this concept. Okay, Selenium ID menus. I just started. Actually, the topic name is Selenium ID menus. We have been trying to understand different uh, menus over here, okay. As we started with file menu, edit menu, actions menu. Now we are trying to understand this options menu. Okay, here in the options menu, if you see your options, here uh, there is a general tab. Here encoding of test files. Uh, UTF-8 means basically, if you remember I said, here we can record a script and we can export that particular recorded script into a flavor. Like I said, we can uh, export into Java, we can export into C Sharp, we can export into Python, right? While exporting, it is going to follow this particular encoding mechanism. Okay, TTF I8, and here default timeout, 30 uh, 30,000 uh, milliseconds. It means if you see a 30,000 milliseconds, it's which is equal to 30 seconds. Okay, and default timeout. It means say it clicked on a link. Okay, say for example, it clicked on login link. Okay, say the next page, the home page is not getting up here. Okay, by default, Selenium is going to wait for maximum of 30 seconds. And uh, of course, here if you see, if you are able to see a white symbol over here, by default, Selenium is going to wait till uh, this white symbol gets stabilizes. Okay, it's basically it will look the object, the home page object, home page uh, related things in the application. Uh, it will wait for maximum of 30, 30, 30,000 seconds, 30,000 milliseconds, which is nothing but 30 seconds. Okay. And here, if you observe your Selenium core extension, it means here in Selenium, uh, we can, um, uh, okay, let me see over here one thing. Here, we are actually trying to understand uh, Selenium uh, IDE menus.
it here under uh, this particular option. Uh, under this options, there is options. Okay, here we are trying to understand. Okay, now here um, basically um, we are talking about core extensions. Okay, yeah, fine. Here uh, core extensions means core extension means here we have uh, some set of commands, right? Here, if you close the view here, here we have some set of commands. Type, click, invite, open. These are the commands that we have here. And moreover, here if you observe here, if you select this, these are the commands. These are the commands that Selenium ID is going to is going to be provided here. Okay. So apart from these commands, you want to develop your own command. Okay. If you want to develop your own command, what you can do here, you can develop that command. Okay. Basically, here for that we need to know JavaScript. JavaScript is different, Java is different as I said earlier. Okay. Here we need to know JavaScript. By using JavaScript, you can develop your own command. Okay, you can develop your own command. Once you develop your command here, okay, you can import that particular command. You can import that particular command into these core extensions. Okay. See here. So if you observe here user extensions.js, js means JavaScript. So once you prepare your JavaScript, say you want to uh, develop one uh, new command, say some XYZ command, you develop it by using, X, uh, using JavaScript. Okay, that command will be imported by using this browse button. Okay, it is going to be imported over here. In a similar way, there is Selenium IDE extensions. Okay, IDE extension means so here uh, Selenium, as I said, it is an open source tool. Okay, open source means you can customize. You can customize the way that you want. Say here you wanted to invent a feature here. Say here you wanted to have a, a video recording feature. For example, say here you wanted to have a video recording feature. Okay, now you can extend, you can develop that related logic. Okay, once you develop that related logic, you can browse that particular ID extension over here. Okay, you just say browse, and you can uh, uh, browse for the, uh, the the extension that you have written. Okay, so it's I mean to say here this is a this is a customized. You can customize this particular tool. If you have innovative ideas, you can customize this and say it is very uh, it is it is going to be useful for others also. What you can do, you can share your idea or you can share your core extension to the Selenium um, uh, team. If okay, they will validate and if they feel it is uh, it is going to be good, they are going to be include that particular feature in the coming releases. Okay. No other basic op uh, uh, options are there. Like here, if you say re remember base URL, so it is going to remember this particular base URL over here. Okay. Now let me go to the formats. And here, if you upgrade, uh, no, we understood here in Selenium IDE. Once we record a script. We can export the script into different flavors, right? So here it's a kind of a it is going to talk about different settings. Okay, if you if you want to export, if you want by default it is in HTML. The script is being recorded in HTML format. Okay, so if it is records in HTML format, what is the basic uh, syntax? How it is going to be created? Okay, say for example, if it is going to record here in Java, uh, this one, Java JNet for web driver. Okay, what is the syntax here? How it is? How it? How it has to record? What is the pre predefined format? Okay, based on this predefined format, the script is going to be generated. Okay, I mean, you can export the script into different flavors. While exporting, it is basically going to follow this particular uh, syntax uh, or this format. Okay, plugins. Again, Selenium IDE itself is a plugin. But for the Selenium IDE also, there will be some extra plugins. Okay, Selenium IDE will have uh, some more extra plugins. Okay, here by default, while installing the Selenium IDE itself, it used to ask for uh, install four uh, plugins. Okay, like uh, Ruby formatters, Python formatters, Java, C sharp. 
That is the reason we are able to export these these scripts, whatever the scripts that we have recorded here, into these uh, these flavors because we have installed the these plugins. These plugins for the Selenium IDE. What I am saying here, Selenium IDE itself is a plugin. For this plugin also, there are some more extra plugins. Okay. So by default, it is going to install these four plugins. Okay. Apart from this, there will be some more plugins. I think uh, we, we can even capture some screenshot for that. We need to uh, we need to install one more plugin. Okay. Locator builders, and as uh, you know here uh, we discuss locators, right? Like we understood ID, name, uh, export. Here export of different flavors by using link, image, attribute, some ID relative, some href. Export the different flavors, and here the uh, uh, link. CSS, okay, DOM. So these are the different locators that we have, okay. So basically, it is a kind of a, uh, a hierarchy uh, how the uh, Selenium IDE has to give the preference. So Selenium IDE has been giving the preference in this way. And if you upgrade here UI, if you remember, I said here UI element, I said UI element rollups, and here are load rollups. These are the three things that we use if we create a framework here in Selenium IDE, okay. Now this UI is a uh, is, is a part of UI element here. Okay, that is a different. It's a customized locator, I can say, and web driver. Okay, web driver means actually here from Selenium IDE itself we can execute a web driver script, and even if you observe somewhere here, it is going to say it is a experimental feature. This add to stabilize. This web driver feature is add to stabilize. Here. Yes, here web driver playback is still an experimental feature and may not be very stable. Okay, still it is uh, under development. Okay, the idea is here we can directly execute the Selenium web driver script from the Selenium IDE. Okay, now format, uh, sir, clipboard, fo clipboard format. Here you can select a, a default format. Okay, when we select a default format, basically it has to show in the Format that we have selected, but it is not showing. Okay, what I'm saying here, say for example, if I say that Java JNet for web driver, this this is the logic that by default it should show in a Java web driver for uh, format, but it is not showing. Probably it might be uh, the current release might have some issue. Okay, and then uh, reset ID window. Uh, if we say this one. It's going to just uh, know uh, reset all the options that uh, that we have customized, and moreover, it is going to even uh, resize this particular uh, window. Clear history means it is going to clear the base URL. If you say clear URL history, it is going to clear the URL history, clear recent test cases, recent test suite, which is nothing but here we have recent test cases, recent uh, test suites. This information, this information can be cleared. Okay, now under help menu, we have documentation. It means which talks about the of uh, uh, Selenium IDE and UI element document documentation. This one UI element. I said this is a framework that uh, that we can create in Selenium IDE. It is it is going to talk about this UI element uh, documentation report issue. If you find any anything difficulty, if you find uh, any bug in the Selenium IDE, you can you can raise that issue over here. Report issue. Release notes. Uh, it is going to talk about what is the current release. Um, uh, I mean, it is it is going to talk about this release. What this release is going to be contained. Uh, it basically talks about the new features that is being included in this release. Okay, and not only that, uh, what is going to be the next release? That kind of information you can find here in the release notes. Official official Selenium blog, official Selenium website. Okay. So these are the different menus that we have in Selenium IDE. Okay. Uh, next, continue to this. Uh, we have uh, these things. Okay. This we call it as basically Selenium uh, commands.
Yep. It's basically this is all these are the part of this. One minute. Yep. Here uh, we have uh, something called selenium comments. Okay. Now we'll try to understand this selenium comments. Here, uh, selenium commands means here say for example if you observe a command here if you observe here you can find so many commands here if you close the here you can find so many commands now here we have uh, we have around three hundred plus commands. Okay, here in Selenium IDE it contains around three hundred plus commands. If we start remembering these commands, well, well gone. We, we don't need to basically uh, we don't need to remember these three hundred plus commands. These uh, these commands have been categorized mainly into four strings. Okay, these commands categorized mainly into four categories. They are verification commands. assertion commands and then write for commands uh, store commands okay mainly uh, these categories have uh, this Commands has been uh, divided into four uh, four categories. There are verification commands, assertion commands, wait for commands, store commands. So if I say verification commands, once you understand what is meant by verification command, so by looking at the command, you can understand what it is going to do. Okay, once you understand assertion command, by looking at the name, you can understand what actually it is going to do. For example, here, say I'm saying assert. Now, if you observe based on this hazard, based on this hazard, there are so many commands are here. Can you all observe here? It started with hazard, and based on this hazard, there are so many commands available here. Okay. And similarly, verifications, verify commands. Okay. So here, uh, uh, we will try to understand these commands. Verification commands means uh, these are the commands. Uh, say if this step is failed, or if the command, if this command is failed, okay, let me say in other words, if the expected, if the expected uh, value is not matching with the actual value. What we call it as? We are trying to compare the expected value and uh, the actual value. This is basically we call it as a verification right? will come will have an actual value. Actual value means what what does it refer? 
actual value means what is uh, from where we are, we are going to refer here what is meant by expected value and what is meant by actual value any guesses any guesses yes. here actual value is nothing but the value that is showing uh, that is that is a part of the application user interface that actual value means whatever we are able to see whatever we are seeing uh, whatever we are observing on the application which is which is nothing but actual and we are expecting if this expected value is nothing but generally we mention in our test case value we mention in the test case so we, we we basically see whether this expected value that we mentioned in the test case is equals to the actual value that is mentioned in the application if both are equal if both are equal we we call it as a pass right if the expected value is not matching with the actual value it means in other case uh, say if this step is passed okay we call it as a fail right this we call it as a fail the expected value is matching with the actual value we call it as a pass okay so first of all i hope everyone uh, know these two points right what is meant by fail what is meant by pass before we understand this verification command we know what is meant by fail what is meant by pass pass means if the expected value is equal to the uh, actual value we call it as a pass if the expected value is not equal to the actual value we call it as a fail so here in verification command Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis: How we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.